This is a dramatization from the story Little Red Riding Hood. It is based on a book by James Finn Garner. All events are fictitious, yet all events are politically correct. Red Riding Hood skipped along the main path, but because his status outside society had freed him from slavish adherence to linear western style thought, the wolf knew a quicker way to grandma's. The effects on mood and behavior of these changes in the concentration of the neurotransmitters are well documented. Adrenaline triggers anxiety. He bursts into the house. and ate grandma. An entirely valid course of action for a carnivore such as himself. Then, unhampered by rigid traditionalist notions of what was masculine or feminine, he put on grandma's night clothes and crawled into bed. Red Riding Hood entered the cottage and said, I have brought you some fat-free, sodium-free snacks to honor you in your role as a wise and nurturing matriarch. The wolf grabbed Red Riding Hood in his claws, intent on devouring her. Red Riding Hood screamed, not out of alarm at the wolf's apparent tendency towards cross-dressing, but because of his willful invasion of her private space. Her screams were heard by a passing woodchopper person, or log fuel technician as he preferred to be called, when he burst into the cottage and saw the melee and tried to intervene. And this what do you think you're doing? Asked Red Riding Hood. Busting in here like a Neanderthal, thrusting your weapon into the thinking for you! She exclaimed. Now when Grandma heard Red Riding Hood's impassioned speech, she jumped out of the wolf's mouth and seized the woodchopper person's axe and cut his head off. After this ordeal, Red Riding Hood, Grandma, and the wolf decided to set up an alternative household based on mutual respect and cooperation, and they lived together in the woods happily ever after.